So when we were talking about this last night, uh, we were kind of prepping some of these episodes and things. The concept that came out is um, the devil's lack of creativity. Could you explain that a bit more? What What are you referring to there and how does that apply to this? Yeah, the devil's not very creative. Like he uses the same <laughs> tools over and over <laughs> again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when you think about, like you think about people that you know that have failed, it's probably going to be in one of three areas. It's either money or power or sex or sexuality. It's like those three things are mm-hmm. the way, are the places where the devil trips people up. And um, so the moral and ethical failures are usually related to dishonesty in relation to acquiring wealth and getting more money, or it's about um, having power and positions of power and, and influence, mm-hmm. Or it's, or it's uh, moral failure related to sexuality. But we know what those tools are. Mm-hmm. We're not ignorant of them. We know what they are. Uh, and so we can be on guard in those areas and just know ourselves well enough to know where we're, where we're vulnerable and take mm-hmm. steps to, to, to guard against those, those things. It's not like people don't fail in areas that nobody's ever failed in before. (laughs) It's, it's repetitive, uh, Mm -hmm. stories. You look at the stories and it's, it's, there's common themes in, in all of them. Mm -hmm. So the person that, the person that, uh, uh, has a position of power and has wealth is, is in, is in a, in a bit of a vulnerable, Mm -hmm. uh, position Mm -hmm. and having an awareness of that if you find yourself in that situation and say uh i think of that a lot with the wealth thing you know people that go a really successful business it's so easy to get distracted with those things say or what and of course jesus has a lot of things to say about wealth and how we use it is this a self-awareness thing or back to having that community of people around you that that you trust and that can help point out hey be, be careful here Am I am I getting getting it right? Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that accountability, putting myself under the authority of someone, or recognizing that I am accountable to authority. There are those. I don't make the rules. Hmm. Uh, I am accountable to others, and that is in. It can be in an accountability group, but beyond that, it's also to the government and and those in, in leadership over me. So the person who is the husband and father in his family, he's the owner of his own business and he's a leader in the church, can kind of be at the top mm-hmm. of in every area of his life, but he really also needs to recognize, no, I'm under authority. And and But if you're the person who makes all the rules, you can also feel like, well, I can make exceptions to the rules for myself. Like other people need to do that, yeah. but I, I yeah. can give myself an exception. Um, but it's a fallacy. It's not really true. And uh, a number of years ago when I was in, well, of course I was the husband and father in my, my home and I was in leadership in the mission organization and I was in leadership in the church. Hmm. And I really felt a need for, I need to remind myself that I am under authority. So for three years, I drove the speed limit, not over the speed limit for three years. <laughs> and it drove me and everybody on the road crazy. And uh, But it was a way of reminding myself that I'm a person who follows the rules. And, <laughs> and I, I, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be a person who lives who always lives over the edge of the rules, just enough that I won't get punished. Mm. And uh, I don't, I don't like when my children do that. I don't like when people in the organization or the church do that. I don't like when people they know what the rules are, but they just live mm. just enough over the rules that that I won't do anything. And I don't want to be that kind of person. And I'm under the authority of the government, so the speed limit is posted by the government, and so I will, I will drive the speed limit just as a reminder to myself that I am under authority 
and I need to obey the. I can't make exceptions to the rules for myself. And so, if we were really in a hurry, then my wife would drive. But, uh, <laughs> but that's that's actually that that's pretty brilliant. <laughs> I like that story. That's uh-huh. um that's a good reminder, I think, for all of us. 